What's up, ladies and gents, boys and girls, thank you very much for coming back to the Resident Evil 3 Remake full game walkthrough. This is part four, I am Jay Notion. Thanks guys for taking the time to join me today. Um, if you are continuing to join me in the series, part three was hella crazy. Um, we came across the nemesis again, wiped him out again. Uh, check out that boss fight guys if you haven't seen it already. Very, very cool, really enjoyed it. Lots of jump scares in the last one, um, as we have come to expect. And also we have uh, come across the Hunter Beta, I think it is. Um, the other form of the Hunter Monster. And the fucker looks like the Predator, so that's good. Had a few of those. Um, we did Carlos's section as well, so we covered some good ground. I have a feeling this may be the final part. Um, because we've just received news that the missile is now heading towards Raccoon City and as we know from the original once you get to the underground facility after the clock tower that is the last section of the game so we could well be on the home stretch now guys so what I'm just going to do now is go back we're now playing back as Jill um, after being Carlos in a very very cool showdown at the end of the last part so please check that out as well hopefully you've watched it all the way through but appreciate it, it is a two hour long video so yeah, just jump in and uh, skim the best bits if you need to, but um, we had a really good showdown with a load of zombies in the last part. We managed to save Jill and get the vaccine. She is all good. Um, we've now switched back to Jill, and what I'm going to do is go back and unlock all the lockpicks that we came across as um, Carlos that we couldn't have, um, or couldn't open, sorry, because we didn't have the lockpick, so we can go back and now open all those locks now that Jill has the skills. Uh, mine rounds. Okay. Let's equip the shotgun. What we're going to do now is just go back through and find all the locks. There is a goddamn hunter in here somewhere because we didn't take him out. Carlos is a G. you did. Just checking this room. I'm really confident we're on the last stretch now guys because so this could well be the final section. We didn't take out the hunter so I'm conscious he's around somewhere. Wow. Powerful. Yeah, they're still there. I'm trying to remember where the lockers are now. Um, there's one here. Excellent. What you got? What you got? What you got? Uh, this looks like the actual way to go. So I'm not going to go down there just yet. Bit of a waste I know, but fuck them. There we go. Ah, of course the locks are there, so we don't need to remember. Hello? Magamo. Hopefully we get that soon. Magnum is my fave. 
my fave of the day. The hunter's got to be around here somewhere because he didn't die. Was it this bit he was in? Okay, so we can go through straight forward. Hopefully, we took these buttons. Cool, there he is. Hello, friend. Fuck you. Whew. Nice, got him. We got him. Yes, we'll take those. In fact, I would like to swap them over because the mine rounds seem to be really useful just in case we come across uh, Frank the Nemesis. Mm. Trying to think now. Was there anything in this room? Poor dude. Poor dude. Explosive B, okay. So there's another little powder pot in here somewhere. Behind you. There you go. Cool. No oh, shit. Maybe if we just use one just to free up space. Uh, need to go upstairs. What's good about the maps though, once you get them, is that it tells you when you've sort of cleared everything out for that particular room. Which is quite handy. We've got to go all the way around now. Probably gonna get jumped here, guys, but it's cool. Don't worry about that. We're prepared for this. Feel good, we're on a roll. Um, uh, we need to go out the windows, don't we? Which way is it? I was going the right way anyway. Through there. Uh, left. <clears throat> yep, yeah, left again. Upstairs. Now we're here, so. Up the stairs. Courtyard's still showing his red, but I think that's because there's a herb on the floor. Anyone else want a piece? Feel quite confident with this gun. It's good. Oh, there we go. So there's one in the linen room and one in the staff room. Let's go to the staff room first. Hi. Took a state of this shit. Fuck was that? Don't want to waste bullets on him. Shit. This handgun's really good. I like the upgrade for it. There we go. Leave us alone. Scary man. 
<clears throat> oh, fuck off. There's someone else walking around as well. There we go. Okay. Um. Don't be scared, Santa. Sit down, bitch. We ain't playing around with you. Right. Sorry guys, this is a little bit of backtracking, but I want to make sure that I've got all the items I need and doing everything I need to do before we finish the final stretch. the roof right got to remember there's a, a dodge button did pretty well with the dodge on the nemesis fight there I'd like to think hang on I'm missing something now Straight, should have gone the wrong way. Should have gone the other way. Okay, straight down. Watch out for hunters. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Just get the last lock pick. Come on. Why is it shut? Yeah. Oh, I don't have to go all the way through there. Guess we do. And round to the right. This is the one. That's where we fought the scary hunters in the room, but we did them proud. I think we took them out with a grenade or two. Grenades are really, really useful against these uh, fuckers. Here we go. Yeah, it's nice. Mag ammo. We'll take that. that dude so there must be something in here that we haven't yet picked up nothing in there check over here there we go ah look at that Ah, uh, we can discard this now. Awesome, awesome. Right, let's go back to that little crawl space. Because I think... 
trying to remember where it was now. Hope you guys are doing well, keeping safe. Yes, I have done two parts back to back. I am currently at home on holiday. So I thought, why the hell not crack on with this amazing game? Because I am enjoying it so, so much. Uh, there's got to be something in here. There we go. High grade gunpowder, nice. Okay, so. Just have a little feel for where we are so I can go out of here. Okay, right. Straight up, and then we'll go have a little inventory swap around in the save. And then we'll squeeze through that little gap and see what goodies we've got in there. Uh, what can we put in there? Let's put in the mag ammo for now. Take out the ex no the gunpowder because that's shotgun shells. Cool. 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 Um. That'll do for now, that looks quite good to me. Let's have a quick um So what's the Okay, so we've got mine rounds in there, let's save that. <coughs> Choose the one mine round first and then it'll free up another slot. Right, where is that little crawl space? I think it was here to the left. There we go. Look at that age. Anything juicy going on? That's weird. Out the window, I guess? Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. Kendo's armory. That's what we wanted, guys. The mag is in town. Shit is about to get crazy. Absolutely love the magnum. It's my most favourite part in the game. Uh, okay, so... How do we get out of here now? Just like that. It's really cool. So we need to get back to the reception area, which we can't do that way. We have to go this way. the stairs I think we're sort of going the right way yeah back to the reception area and back to that little room so as you can tell guys my RPG uh, experience gamer in me tells me to go back and unlock those chests you couldn't unlock earlier and it paid off. We haven't come across any enemies, touch wood. <coughs> um, whoop. I was saying. One it wonder though, it's all good. It's all good. Fuck that guy. Uh, 
I just I just need to learn to keep my mouth shut and then it'll be all good okay we're making good ground guys and girls you're all right don't like the look of this it doesn't look very good Yeah, this this looks well dodgy. Maybe you could drive it. Oh, hang on. Where are you hiding, Mr. Bubble? Can hear you. There you go. Jesus Christ. All right, it's all right. It's good. We're good. intense guys I feel like we're on the home stretch oh shit we're on a lift we yeah, think we're there Always checking this new weird shit going on around you. Learn that from part one, guys. Okay. Cool. Yes, please. Take the hit pouch. Gather the fuses from the sub generators, return power, there we go. So quick look at what we've got. I feel like I need to take the mag ammo, so I'm going to. I don't know. Should I, should I not? <sighs> decisions, decisions. I'm going to leave it for now because I'm comfortable that I've got enough ammo and weapons. Just save it there. Hello. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't be scared, Santa. Don't be scared, Santa. This is the left. Surveillance room? I don't know. Oh, you fucker. I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our game's a <laughs> bastard. You <sighs> piece of shit.
course those zombies are gonna come and play with us soon. What the fuck was that? Well, you can fuck off as well. We invited you. I need to dance on the first date. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Right, let's get in here. Let's get in. Let's get in. It's safer if I have a shotgun. Can't get wrong with a shotgun, guys. Save my ass no end of times. Handgun. Plenty of handgun. Um, handgun. Plenty of ammo and stuff in this game, guys. I am playing on the normal setting, so I would imagine in easy you get even more. Let's fuse number one. Which way? Always good. But yes, it's really generous with health and ammo, I think. And even if you sort of use loads just clearing through zombies and normal enemies, when the time you do get to a boss, it tends to flood you with ammo and um, health and stuff anyway. So it's quite generous in that respect. Of course, there's a dog. Switch to shotgun. Well enough. Time to put you down, you mutt. Fuck you. Little sneaky shit. So we're on a caution now. I think I'll wait till I get hit one more, which is a bit risky. Before I use the first aid spray. Some will say risque. But that's how I roll, guys. That's how I roll. Fuck me. <sighs> okay. Hey, dude. Bye, dude. Santa, don't be scared. There's a red herb there. Tense times, guys. Tense times. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just on edge. I need to find where this um just never know. I think we just gone through that bit. We've not just gone through there.
yeah we have we have we have so let's go back up I'm a bit confused now I'm a bit confused which is easily done here's the red herb we can squeeze through there which we don't need to do we just go through the door then I'm guessing this is so fucking creepy so creepy Right, let's uh <clears throat> Gunpowder, where's the fuse? You like look at that. There's definitely something in there. I don't give a shit what anyone says. Sorry guys, just checking the um, quality in the, of the video and stuff still going alright. So I've had some issues with my mic. Um, so I will just keep checking it now and then just to make sure all is okay. Fuck you. Hmm. Yes, please. Yes, please. So now we can combine that with that. We are overloaded with shotgun stuff, which is good. Shotguns are a go to, I think, in this little bit. It is a good gun. There's the fuse. I knew it. I knew it. Oh no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What we do, what we do, what we do. It's good, he's down. Horrible fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus. I was trying to equip the flame rounds because I know that it one hits these fucking things. Uh, I could combine that. That's good. And now we can use it. Ah, feels so good. Feels so good. <coughs> Music's creepy as. But honestly, it really does add to the atmosphere. As we would expect with a Resident Evil game. Have you guys not got any homes to go to? I think they're like weird crossbeed zombies. That looks like a safe room there. Let's go in there. Need a breather. Cool. We're covering some good ground, people. 
So we've got the fuses, we've got two spare slots, we've got some health. It's all good. Got some health, it's, yeah, mag ammo. Hmm. Let's equip the flame range just in case we see more of those um fucking things. What's that there? Okay, fuse box. There we go. Okay, cool. Did we save? I don't think we did. That was close. Yeah, he walked out of there about saving. I can recall actually, I think it was Resident Evil 2. If you played through the whole game, because back then it was a fairly short game, you could do it in a few hours if you knew where you were going and stuff. Um, without saving, you unlocked this special key, which you could use in the safe room underneath the stairs in the star's office. Uh, not Sorry, under the star's office in the RPD area and it gave you some weird and wonderful outfits but also things like uh, unlimited ammo, the rocket launcher I could just remember doing it back in the days when I used to play Resident Evil 2 non-stop because it is it is my favourite I must admit uh, do you come through that way now? Yep, so we came through here. Getting a little bit lost now. We can't get in there. What's this? Explosive. Nice, nice, nice. I think we've got some explosive B. It's stored. Uh, two explosive A's. That's fine. So you can make more explosive rounds, which is good. Cool. So sometimes, guys, it is worth saving it because the items you pick up later on, you can just combine and it will save you. Uh, we're back here again, so it can't be that way. Helps if I could see something. Sorry guys, I'm losing my marbles a little bit. I'm just trying to figure out where I should be going. Ah, I reckon it's this. We didn't go through that door, did we? Let's try this. Sounds like there's some action down there. Let's go. Let's get involved with this shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Something's gonna do us in. I know it is. Oh shit! Any problem now? Is that we've got? Let's see. Whoa! Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus! He's still going. Fuck a guy there. That done him, surely. They're so quick, those hunters. So, so quick. Okay. We've got mine rounds. Let's swap to the explosive. 
Shotgun shells are good. Yeah, let's go. Thank God, the last fucking fuse. Where we need to be, aren't we? Put the fuses in, that is the aim. <coughs> Let's do this. No, of course, you lot were going to wake up. Fuck off. That's what I'm talking about, bitch. Want some more? Thought not. I thought not. Horrible piece of shit. Right, we've got the fuses, guys. So this is it. Here we go. And we're in. We are in. In, in, in. Let's mix those with some of those. Cool. Quick save. Loving this, guys. I feel like we're um, covering some decent ground. Anything wrong here first? Wait, let's have a look. Unknown bioweapon, Project N investigating. Material vehicles exchange and evolve. It will introduce further encounters to obtain more precise data. So the nemesis basically adapts to us in true virus form. Gotta take a few snaps. Why does he sound like he's ordering shit in? Not long. Get the vaccine, get the vaccine, get the vaccine. Okay, let's follow him. Where's he going? Anything in these lockers? Yeah, but the red the redness is telling me there's stuff in here. Like that. Yes. Extended barrel for the mag. That is what we want. I think we can uh, equip more bullets for that now. Well, maybe not. It's all good, it's all good. We've still got plenty of room. <coughs> sure, here we go. What a bro. What a bro. Shit. One second, guys. TV's about to die. Don't want that happening. There we 
we go. Cool. It's still running nice. Holy shit. Poor guy. It's nice knowing you, dude. You're a good guy. Nemesis, honestly. It's worse than Mr. X. Get the vaccine. Get to the chopper. Talking about nice T virus vaccine. Green herb, yes, please. Uh, red one. Got high grade gunpowder there. Put that away for now. Don't need it. It's all good. Right, let's have a quick save it looks like Nemesis isn't that far away <clears throat> of course he's not don't sound very friendly up here guys not gonna lie Bubble boom, bubble boom, bubble boom. The thing is, I can't see a damn thing. It's really dark. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's probably Isaac. Sorry, dude, but you're dead. <clears throat> Shit is getting crazy. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Sort of right. Let's get the let's use the shot here. I'm taking no chances. I'm taking no chances.
Easy on vaccine synthesis. Here we go. We've got to mix it, guys. We're probably going to make the anti-vaccine now, which is good. Yep. Nothing's free. Nothing's free. What did we tell you? A little clicky bubble. Where are you, dude? Can't see a damn thing. Ah, I like it. So that's the vax, that's where we've got to go to put all this shit together. That's the storage room, we're all good for now. In here? Yeah, let's him. Oh, fuck. The fuck is going on? Stay down. Disgust him. Do you know what? I've had enough of you fucks. Seriously. Any more? These zombies are like super zombies, I swear. They're taking up all my fucking ammo. And he's still going. Fuck's sake. That's just unreal. Honest to God. Serious. Die. Fucking hell. Like a turret that won't flush, honestly. Right now they're taken care of. Let's have a little look around the VR. We will take the herb, yes please. And the shotgun shells. Hang on, was that something? No. This game plays on your paranoia. Big time. Makes you see things that isn't there. How do, how do. Well, that was one of them getting up then. Ah, dear God.
Yeah, pale heads, very high regrowth abilities, there you go. High powered weaponry. It's used by all employees. There we go, there's the base. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Where are you? It's so dark, I can't see it. Um Yay, Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie. Goodbye, Charlie. Music's really good. That guy's back up. He can go fuck himself. We're not playing around. It happened, the T virus. I think we're nearly there, people. The last little stretch. I told you to stand up. <clears throat> oh shit, hang on. So where was that door? Oh here. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Can you let me in or no? Oh fuck this. <sighs> Look at this guys. You know what's gonna happen here, don't you? Look at these. It's fine, it's fine. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, let's do this, come on. Fuck what they're gonna do. He says. Let's probably just use that. Please don't smash. Please don't smash. Well, eh? Shotgun is a beast. Say no more. Shotgun is a beast. What do these get? Acid. Now let's go with the acid rounds. Hey dude. What's up?
Don't even try it. You don't fuck. Expression of concern. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed. Problem is the parasites. Mm-hmm. I love it how stuff just plays out. It all unravels as you go through the game. Really clever. We've got the vaccine. Holy shit, we got the vaccine. Right. I know those things are going to smash through the screen now, so here we go, guys. Those fuckers down there, they're going to they're all going to come out, aren't they? Come on. Thing is, if I make a run for it, that's good. Let's go. Come on. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Knew it. Oh shit. I see it. A seed. A seed. Any more? Want some more? What about you? Guys. We fucking nailed that. Sorry. You know, apologize for my language, but... I am... Ecstatic. We dealt with that with class. If I do say so myself. Right. That's, we need to get back to the mixing room now, don't we? Do a bit of DJing. Don't mind if I do. I need some first aid spray. Although I, I have to say, guys and girls, we are doing very, very well. Let's get back to the mixing room. Screw the red hair, we don't need it. Let's just get out of here. When are you gonna fuck off, honestly? Why don't you leave me alone? Think this is the right way. Uh, no. Upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs. Quit looking at storage room. What we got? Ooh, let's uh, mix those. Put that in. Yep, we like that. Got some explosive. I'm gonna save a couple of healing items just because you never know. Right, save it. We're getting there, people. This might be a slightly longer than normal video, but I feel like we can just go straight to the end with this. So I'm just going to keep going. Join me for the ride, guys.
the music always suggests that we're not um, that far away. Oh, this is gunpowder. Problem is, you can't. How do we get up to the lab one then? Sorry, guys, a little bit of backtracking. It must be in there. Look at all the bodies. Yeah. I'm just going to grab the handgun ammo. Probably think it's not worth it, but every little helps. For sure. Incubation lab, we've missed the gunpowder. Honestly, fuck it. Alright, let's go. Let's mix it. Let's DJ mix it. Okay, up the stairs. All the lighting and the shadows are so well done. It's such a, an amazing game. I hope they remake 4. They, they've got potential to do Resident Evil 4. They tend to be doing that a lot at the moment. Who knows? What the fuck we got to do here? Ah. Oh. Just like that. We've got the vaccine. Oh shit. Joe Valentine, save the world. Don't need Batman, don't need Superman, don't need anything. You just need Joe Valentine. She got it. Oh no. Here we go. Fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy, holy shit. One second, guys. It's doing me tits in a little bit. There we go. Go escape the facility. Escape. I feel like the Magnum is going to be useful here. Oh yeah, shake that ass. <laughs> yep, shoot that. Nice. Come on, Jill. We know the nemesis loves his fire. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Crawl. Crawl. Ta-ta for now, Nemesis. This ain't over by any means. Look at these beauties. Okay, so let's have a think about this now. Yep. That will do it. So 
what we got vaccine let's put the explosive in there we've got plenty of health Sorry guys, I'm just being anal with my um, inventory slots. Okay, yeah, we must be near the end now. Okay. I feel like we're nearly there people so I would normally stop the video now but I think we're near the end so I'm just gonna keep plowing on through it this looks like it's the end of the game which you know is fine so we're just gonna keep going we're gonna take down nemesis bring it on bring it on here we go Shit's about to get real. Let's check there's nothing at this end. No. Nope. Oh, here he is. Here's Frankie. You little shit. You piece of shit. Yes, he does betray you in the original. That much is the same. All this section here is different now. Oh, fucking hell, here we go. Nemesis, my good friend. How are you? Nope. We know your moves, mate. We know them. We know them well. Oh, shit. I walked into that. I deserve that one. It's your free shot. Jill, is that you? It is. You're okay. Let me spot for you. We're not squatting, mate. We need guns, firepower, help, herbs, anything. Where? Ah. Where's tank five? Yeah, I know, but what do I do?
Get out of there, Joe. No. <sighs> right, just need to focus a minute. Uh, let's get the shotgun out, we've got plenty of that. Yeah, where's big boy running? What does that do? Ah, okay. We have to shoot the red bits, I get it. Come on, we got this. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. Where we are. Didn't like that. He did not like that. Gotta love it. Okay. Come on. Drop down, you fucker. Yeah, good work. Oh, Carlos, I thought you had our back, mate. Fucking hell, what is that? Shit. He's pissed now. He is pissed now. Yeah, cool. No, you're not having us, mate. Shit. Come on, Jill. Got this. Yeah, well, it's easy for you to say, mate. You're not down here fighting the fucker. Is he down or what? Yeah, this is intense. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. I had to do it, didn't you? Is that it? Oh. People don't rate him, but Carlos is a badass. That is legit. He is a legit badass, I'm saying it. I'm 
Nice. Whoa. That's crazy. Shit, we need to use that. Nemesis isn't down to be silly. We've got hardly any ammo here though. Well, what was that? Bioweapons, extreme firepower. It requires multiple powers, uh, so this is going to be the rail gun. Gunpowder. Okay, let's have a quick look what we've got. Definitely take that. Definitely take that. Explosive's not going to do anything, I don't think. We've got no rounds of anything. Stick with the Magnum. Final stretch, people. This is it. This is it. Of course, we're going to have a little fight down there. Look at that. Oh, shit. Is that the rail gun? Here we go. Shoot him. Want to see all the show me your titties? Show me your titties. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm just in the light. Ugh. He is back. Shady's back. Yeah, just a beast. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. <laughs> yeah. That is a photo. Yes, please. Give me it, give me it. Holy shit. Whoa! Oh shit. This is badass. Look. Yeah, uh, right. I've got to down him somehow. Where's all these blisters? Shit. He's doing us.
Come on, come on. That one's back. Stay down, you fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. At least get this one in. Yeah, he's back up. Haha, <laughs> nice. Jesus, bad at oh shit. It's disgusting. Why are they not going down? Come on, Jilly. You got this. No. Is he down? Yep. Oh, fuck. It's all good. Stay calm. Let's finish this, guys. Last one. And then we got the real gun. We gotta shoot that fool. Super pumped. Super pumped. Let's go. Let's go. This is the end, bitch. Oh no. Jeez. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good <laughs> Holy shit. He's definitely done that time. Hundred percent. He ain't going back from that. Look all this stuff that was there. But it's all good. Right, let's finish this, guys. Once and for all. <laughs> this be the end. Oh fuck, I'm going the wrong way. Ah, so pumped, guys. So pumped. Don't want a little look around.
She is determined to give her that. So dark that I can't see a damn thing. Oh hey, shit. We're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't we? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? What's that? Go on, Carlos, do him in. Carlos. It's dark in there again. Shoot the bitch. Just shoot him. Shoot him. on my beach umbrella nah I'm all right mate Nice, just leave the fucker there to rot. Graphics are amazing. Bye bye, Raccoon City. Same for Resi 2 and 3, gone. Did it, guys? Shit. Wow. 
fantastic game. I'll just let the credits play out, guys, and then um, we'll have a little review and a chat, a discussion on what we thought. But honestly, blown away. So good. can skip it let's skip it I love the end credit scenes it's always worth uh, sticking around just in case mm, here we go rank C only died five times in the whole game that's not bad not bad save 28 clear time five hours 19 it's all right, not bad at all. And there we have it, guys and girls. Now purchase items from the shop, points to unlock items. Let's have a look at them. Where's the shop bonuses? Uh, nice costumes. This is pretty cool. Look, pick pouch. Hot dogger. Oh, look at that. Anti bio weapon. Samurai Edge, nice, that's Jill's uh, gun. Infinite Mup handgun. So rifle rocket launcher, nice, nice, nice. Oh shit, look at this. I love the concept art and stuff like that. It's really good. Hunters. It's cool. And the models. So cool. Nemesis, what happened to you, man? That's cool, look at that. What a gun. And what a game. Really cool.
Okay, guys and girls, that is the end. That is part four. Uh, it only took us four parts to do it, but they are fairly long videos, so you know, from the completion time, you're looking at five hours there. Thank you very much, guys, for those of you that have uh, stayed with me through the whole game playthrough. This now, ironically, is the first full game I've completed whilst having the channel set up, so this is a great privilege for me. Really, really pleased. Um, because I, I was sort of halfway, three quarters of the way through control. Um, but that was put on hold because of this beauty of a game. So um, what I'm going to do now is just go into a quick review. And then that will wrap the whole video up there. Um, overall, absolutely love the game. Um, I don't really understand people that are slating it at the moment. I'm seeing lots of reviews, both um, online and on YouTube, saying that the game has ruined the original that is nowhere near the same, of course it's not, it's a remake, that's the whole point but um, I think it did everything that it set out to do I think it's got plenty of jump scares it's gone back to its roots in terms of survival horror the item management system is perfect, it's there they also remember to carry over the uh, ammunition uh, mixing and crafting which I really really liked um, there's a good variation of weapons all your classics are in there, the grenade launcher uh, you know the handgun, the semi-auto rifle, when you're playing as Carlos, um, the Magnum, all that kind of, they're all there so you can't argue about the weapons, they all feel and play very differently, they've all got different sort of handling and firepower which is what you would expect. Um, the monster designs are brilliant I think, they've done a really good job with the Nemesis in terms of making him really feel like he's supposed to be this unstoppable force and he you know kind of is. Um, I like how they didn't just stick to the standard model nemesis when you first see him in the game because as per the original he pretty much stays that way um, and only changes forms once or twice and that's more towards the end of the game in the original so it's really good that they uh, took time to design more character models from this one uh, just so you can see how much nemesis transforms he gets stronger every time that you put him down um, almost like in a Terminator sort of fashion which is really really good um, there's clear indications that they had inspiration from the Predator in terms of making the Hunter um, uh, beta monsters um, only because of the way that the faces are you know a little teeth coming in like this uh, which I didn't mind I thought it was a nice little touch it was a bit of a cross between the Hunter beta um, not Hunter beta sorry the Hunter beta was a bit of a cross between the Predator and um, I can't remember his name now the guy from Mass Effect the alien from Mass Effect I can't remember his name if you guys remember please let me know in the comments it will put my mind at ease um, but yeah I think overall the monsters were really really well done the story um, paid a lot nostalgic paid a lot, paid a lot of nostalgia to the, um, the original there were sections in there that I clearly remembered um, there were certain um, like passcodes and locks and things that I remembered from playing Resident Evil 2 Remake um, because they were the same which was a nice touch, a nice little easter egg there um, I loved reading the memo files as well because it adds more to the story and it kind of feeds into the other games um, you can tell that Capcom designed this one fresh off the back of Resident Evil 2 which is fine, it's perfect, it worked really well with the new engine, I think it's really fluid, it plays nicely, it's smooth, it doesn't feel clunky in any way, um, you don't sort of get glitched or trapped in any sort of areas, and some of the areas that you've got are quite complex and um, have a lot of pixels and are mapped out quite well, uh, so you would expect a little bit of chopping and um, all that kind of stuff, but you don't, you don't get it at all. That may be because they've patched it, but I think they've spent a lot of time perfecting this because they know this is a big favourite of the Resident Evil fan base, myself included. This is probably my second most favourite Resident Evil game behind Resident Evil 2. Um, if I was to say what's better, the original or this, um, they're both very good in their own right. I don't think you can ever beat a, an original because it's, it's you know laid down the law for a lot of games that follow it. But... Um, is it better? Yes, in some ways. In other ways, the original takes the cake for me. But what I do like about this one is that they flesh out the characters a bit more. You get to feel 
more interpersonal with the characters. Uh, you feel for Nikolai in the beginning, and then you sort of grow to hate him, and then you just want to destroy him, which you, you kind of leave him to do at the end. Um, the storytelling is really, really good. The act, the voice acting is really believable. All the characters that were the voice actors, you know, delivered amazingly. I don't think there was anything in there that was cheesy or uh, put the game off for me in any way. Um, the zombie models, a lot of people were moaning about those, saying that oh, they're just copy and pasted, and yeah, but it, it didn't. I didn't notice it to the level that it ruined it for me. Um, there were some sections where I thought, oh yeah, you know, that zombie looks exactly the same as the one in the last section an hour ago, but I only noticed that once or twice. I was so invested in the atmosphere, the music, and what I was doing that it didn't bother me, and I don't think it ruins the game in any way, shape, or form. Um, so yeah, overall the campaign was fairly short, as you saw I did it in 5 hours 20 minutes odd, but they're saying it takes roughly around 6 hours, there were a couple of things I, I think I may have missed, um, but what's great is once you complete it, you've, as you can see I've now unlocked the store, so I can go in with an alternative outfit, I can um, uh, buy new weapons and stuff like that, I can upgrade things that I've bought, I can just add little perks to it, so it, there is a lot of replay value there. I'd imagine the story itself doesn't change, um, but you can just sort of go through, collect points, and then you can unlock things as you play through, as you saw from the store. So it does give replay value if you want to do that. Um, I personally don't think I will. Uh, it's not that I'm afraid of it or anything like that. It's just that I feel once I've felt, you know, got a feel for the story, anything beyond that is just a nice to have. So and because I've got so much that I want to do at the moment on the channel like the podcast, uh, I've got Final Fantasy 7 coming out Friday, I need to also finish Control, which I'm three quarters of the way through. Um, this will probably go on the back burner. The next video I put up will probably be around the additional multiplayer element of this game, which is called Resident Evil Resistance, which comes free with the game. So I'll be doing a little uh, preview of that very, very shortly, um, after this part's been uploaded. But overall, my thoughts with the game, a solid 8 out of 10 I think guys, I think if you're a Resident Evil fan you'll be very pleased, I don't think there was anything in there that made me dislike the game, um, the nemesis is the star of the show alongside Jill and I think the nemesis was absolutely terrifying, the scenes where you're fighting the nemesis is intense, the music's ramped up, it adds to the atmosphere, the level designs are very well put together, uh, everything's sort of interlinks with um, other areas if that makes sense it doesn't feel choppy, it doesn't feel like it's been spliced together badly or rushed you can tell they spent a lot of time on this and um, it is really much appreciated so thank you very much Capcom this is a great one um, so yeah 8 out of 10 for me I think the only thing that would make it a slightly higher score is if the game was longer um, but from memory the original wasn't that long either I think it was about the same sort of time 6 to 7 hours at best um, that one had a bit more replay value in terms of it did have a store like this one does but they also had a mercenaries mode where you could play as different characters you had a time limit and you had to get to a certain objective using different weapons and stuff like that um, but saying that on the flip side they have introduced Resident Evil Resistance as an add-on which is free which kind of works like mercenaries in the same sense uh, but it's multiplayer so you know that kind of cancels out my previous comment in a way so yeah solid 8 out of 10 if you guys are debating uh, um, whether to jump in on this or not absolutely do it if you're a Resident Evil fan it's a must if you're a horror game fan it's a must if you just generally like action games and you don't mind having a little bit of a jump scare and um, being afraid a couple of times then it's definitely for you it's probably one of the top games out on the market at the moment I would say that's been recently released so go out there and buy it it's also good because it doesn't take long to complete um, and whilst a lot of us have got a lot of time on our hands at the moment it's good for those people that want to condense game in time or they want to get a quick sort of campaign or a story done so they can move on to something else so it's definitely worth your time okay guys I'm gonna leave it there so solid 8 out of 10 for me for Resident Evil 3 remake thank you Catwom I enjoyed it I now need to change my pants I'm really joking but honestly, the jump scares, I've lost count. I should do a jump scare counter, really, going through. Um, but no, it served its purpose. I really enjoyed it. And I think 
it was really well done because this one was done under the radar nobody knew it was in development until sort of the later stages of the the development phase and i think it was a real nice surprise i can remember playing resident evil 2 remake thinking god oh, imagine if they redone the nemesis like this imagine if the resident evil 3 was done in this way and they did it back to back which is you know fantastic really really enjoyed it so that's me guys that's the end of part four that is the finale of resident evil 3 remake that is the quick fire review as well 8 out of 10 from me go and buy it i do recommend it it is worth your time um if you haven't played any of the resident evils before you don't have to uh there are some nice little references and easter eggs to the other games but you can jump in on this when fresh as a daisy and you um you'll understand what's going on you'll get a feel for everything it kind of explains the backstory and what's led to this point but it can be played on a game in its own right so don't worry about having to go back and um play through the others to understand it because you, you don't need to do that but if you do and you can i do recommend it because resident evil is to this day one of my f most favorite franchises to play okay guys thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video apologies it is a little bit longer than anticipated but I just thought we're at the end now, let's crack through it, let's get it all done, have a quick little review at the end and then we'll, we've all wrapped up for the next bit. So the next video will probably be on Resistance, I will give my thoughts on that, I'll give it a playthrough and then I'll let you know in my comments, probably do it like an hour or so and then let you know how that plays. Thanks guys, like I said before if you do enjoy the video and you've enjoyed this series please let me know in the comments, leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and uh, become one of my quasis. Transform into the goddamn nemesis, swing down that rope, ring that bell icon, and then you'll be notified of when new content goes live on the J Nation channel. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Peace.